Well, hey guys, I'm back again. Got to uh, start into other projects here. I finally got myself a 3D printer. Uh, pretty wild machine. Uh, saw them when, uh, when I was doing my case feeder and bullet feeder and guys were printing out parts for them. And it really intrigued me. So uh, I finally saved up a little money and uh, got one and, uh, you know, just making things. So, uh, yeah, it's enough to drive you nuts, but I do that pretty good anyway. So let me, uh, let me show you what I'm up to here. Well, I found this file uh, looking around for stuff, and this is a skeletonized grip for an AR. And my buddy, he's heavy into ARs. He's coming over tomorrow, so I'm going to try to print this out for him. But this machine's pretty wild the way it does it. It melts down plastic and just keeps on adding layers and uh, so this is the uh, the model right here and you can see you can get a 360 view of it uh, that's the solid view so I'll put it into the layer view this is what the machine actually does so the machine just continuously adds layers to this thing and you can see as I move the bar how the build of this whole thing goes it takes quite a while. Uh, I did add a texture uh, to it, so it has a little bit of a, a little bit of a grippiness to it. I don't know. This is the first time I ever did it. This is a pretty long build. Uh, it's probably going to take five hours or so. So uh, I just restarted. Uh, I had a failed part, and uh, so I had to restart the machine and. Uh, uh, like I said, I'm still learning about this stuff because uh, it prints on a glass plate and sometimes the uh, the stuff just doesn't stick to the glass plate so good. So the other thing that guys do is put uh, masking tape down. So I'll bring you over to the machine and show it to you. Okay, I just restarted the machine. Uh, it was going okay, but then I found out the part was actually lifting off the, uh, the surface itself. So... There's not a whole lot to see right now. Uh, like I said, it's going to take a while, but you can just see it's laying down layers of uh, melted plastic so that heats it up into the head. Uh, quite an amazing machine. So I'll bring this back to you in a while. Uh, bring you over to the control panel here, and you can see all the stuff going on. Uh, we have what they call layer height is on the bottom there uh, and that would be that would be layer height right there and this is the percent of the print job this is the time uh, that it's been doing it so far so it's uh, it's pretty wild because I you know I'm, I'm trying to learn CAD uh, I knew it a, a long time ago. This is a whole different ball game. It's a 3D CAD. So, yeah, I'll learn it somehow. But I'll show you the progress of this thing uh, later down the road. But uh, I even found files for doing uh, grips for uh, 1911s, which I thought was pretty cool. So, I'll show you the progress uh, as it goes. Alright, we're a little over an hour now. You can see it takes quite some time here. I'm putting a little light in here. You can see it start to form right now. I'll just take a, a short video in between and put the, uh, put the time on there for you guys to see it evolve. And I may have to leave this thing on overnight because I don't know if it will finish by the time I get bed. So, there's that. Well, this is pretty impressive so far. We're two hours and 42 minutes in it now. And you can see it's starting to bridge over the first uh, first uh, part of this thing here. So if it goes over that first part and bridges without sagging, then I think we'll have a good print. But I just heard some thunder in. I hope I don't lose power and lose this whole thing. So I'll give you updates later.
Well, hey guys, I got the print made last night. It ran longer than I thought it was going to, so I just stayed up and waited until it finished. Uh, but uh, this thing, it's, it's truly amazing. I mean, it's remarkably strong. Uh, it put a nice texture to it. Put a little light on that, see if you can see it. But uh, yeah, put a nice texture on it. My buddy's showing up today around lunchtime, so we'll, uh, we'll see see if it fits anything he's got uh, I told him to bring uh, one of his rifles with him so we'll check it out see how it fits and uh, I think this thing's going to be remarkably strong I mean I can't even crush it at all so and twist it it's really strong the amazing thing it printed without any uh, support material and any of this webbing so this is my uh, newbie adventure into 3d printing so there's other things I want to try to make, but I thought this was cool, and we'll see how uh, see how everything works out for me. But uh, it's a neat adventure. I'll be learning this stuff for a long, long time. So, all right, guys, take care. Hey, guys. Well, back again. My buddy showed up in the shop here, brought his AR with him, and we finally got the uh, grip on there. We had to fight with it a little bit. Uh, the inner portion of it was a little tight so we had to file it out had to throw a washer on that bolt we didn't want to cut that down so that is the uh, skeletonized grip for this sucker but it's amazing what that little machine will do so right now that's a done project we'll see how it holds up I mean it feels really strong so uh, we'll see how it works out so that's it guys we're signing off for now bye